Welcome everybody. We are live here in Leslie County, Kentucky. We got Betsy Lane versus Leslie County with Kevin Keithley and Daryl McCoy on the call. Real quick, guys, starting the lineups. Tanner Hall, Carter Parsons, and Drew Kidd, Tanner Martin, and Isaiah Allen getting the start in place of Cameron Pente tonight. Now for the home team on the scoreboard. Betsy Lane is coached by Mike Howard. Number five, Jaden Hacker. Number eleven, Jesse Hoskins. Number fourteen, Ty Myers. We're number one, Jesse Osborne. And number three will be Dylan Smith. They are head coached by John Noble. Coach Keithley, d, &D Sports Network. Listen, all, all of our games got canceled tonight. The slate got canceled, but we found a way. Where there's a will, there's a way. We put our sleds on, and we ended up here in Leslie County, and this is what basketball is made of, is it nights like this. Daryl McCoy, you better believe it. We jumped on the d, &D Sports Network sleigh. And, yeah, we traveled uh, down here to Leslie County to get this big-time matchup between Betsy Lane, Leslie County, Coach Mike Howard. Oh, yeah, Coach John Noble going at it. Guys, we do apologize. We do not – we will not be able to read comments tonight. Uh, there is no service over here. If you guys absolutely need us, shoot a message, personal message to myself, Daryl McCoy, and we will uh, check it periodically on uh, on our Facebook page. So I uh, appreciate all you guys tuning in, and hopefully you enjoy the broadcast. I want to thank Derek Bowling at Kentucky Farm Bureau, Kemper Furniture, East Main Street Pharmacy, Howard Pharmacy, Conley Brothers Giovanni's, Kemper Furniture, and Kentucky Mountain Health Alliance. Jesse we Isles, we're going to jump against Andrew Kidd. Mm -hmm. Isaiah Allen throws the tip, coach. Allen kicks it ahead to the corner. Parsons off the mark. Tanner Martin grabbed the rebound, but had it jerked away. Going the other way. Mm -hmm. Leslie County basketball. Yeah, there you go. You got the double quick scoreboard, top right hand corner of your screen. Preston Burr, uh, excuse me, Betsy <laughs> Lane going in a. No, they overturned the call, Daryl. Yep. So it's going to be Bobcats ball on the baseline. Parsons the inbound. Tanner Martin can fill it up from deep. Got to know where he's at at all times. Is Isaiah Allen. Shot fake, getting into the lane. Okay. Shot fake. Ball kicks over to Parsons. Another way. That was a great job, Coach, there by number one, Jesse Osborne, stepping in taking the charge. Coach, don't forget, this Betsy Lane team, they're missing Cameron Pente, but they took Floyd Central to the wire without their token point yeah, guard. Yeah, listen, you better believe it. When you got three point guards, yeah, you're going to miss Cameron Pente defensively, offensively. But you know what? When you got two more point guards, you can run at them. Uh, you can keep, hey, you can keep it, keep it going. Andrew Kidd kicks it over to Parsons. Parsons back out the hall. Back to Parsons, corner. No, dumps it down to Andrew Kidd. Leslie County in a zone. Good job saving the position by Tanner Martin. Tanner Hall rims out. In and out, right? And right now, Betsy Lane really controlling the board so far. Parsons for a three. The sophomore. You know, Coach Keithley, this Betsy Lane team, I think they really made a turn when they started sending their offense through Andrew Kidd a little more. Well, <laughs> listen, you do a little bit of everything, but you get him in the middle of the floor, he's tough to stop. He is. Turnover. Yeah, kick it up court. Nice job. Left it out. That, that was, was Dylan Smith with a miss. Mm -hmm. On the go here. Carter Parsons, you can interchange Carter and Tanner Hall at the point guard. There's Andrew Kidd with the turnaround jumper. Quick timeout by John Noble. He wants to talk about it. As they do, we will too. We'll be right back here on the d, &D Sports Network. If you're looking for a great selection and a great experience for your next Harley-Davidson, come on down to Mount St. Harley-Davidson here in Delbarton, West Virginia. 
We have new 2023 models in stock and ready for delivery. Special financing available. Orchard is pre-owned with one of the largest inventories in the tri-state area with great low prices. Visit our showroom filled with licensed Harley-Davidson apparel and more. Don't write that check until you check with us, Mountain State Harley-Davidson, 61 Priest Bottom Road, or visit us online at mountainstatehd.com. Leslie County, Kentucky, Daryl McCoy. We're in Leslie County, Kentucky, and uh, it's Betsy Lane versus the Fighting Tim Couches. Yes, sir. Press, uh, Betsy Lane in a 2 2 1. Nice job kicking up court. There's Hacker. Now, the kid you want to watch for this Leslie County team is that young man right there, Jaden Hacker, one of the top freshmen in the business. Nice drive. Uh, off the mark. Got his own rebound. And Coach uh, Jaden Hacker played football this year, and uh, I'm pretty sure he led the mountains in interceptions. There's Tanner Hall. Got it. Big bucket. Had his feet gathered. Held that release. Off and running, Betsy Lane. Hall, pull up, push floater. That was a nice move by Tanner Hall. 2-2-1. Two, two, Passed up on a good shot for a great shot. Hacker. Matched up with Carter Parsons. Osborne. Got to travel. That's uh, Caden Bell checking in for uh, Leslie County, number 24. Coach uh, Noble said that he plans on playing. Uh, you know, he may go 8, 9, 10 deep, Daryl. Well, that's uh, the way that he likes to pressure. You know, I, it would be hard not to. Yeah, you know, I, I think you'll uh, you'll see some heavy four court pressure just about all game from him. Isaiah Allen from the elbow. Twelve two early. Trap comes. Betsy Lane doing a nice job. On both ends of the floor early. Right now, Leslie County got to get some offense going here. Hoskins up top. Coach Keithley would like to uh, definitely brag on uh, brag on this uh, gymnasium here. Throwback gymnasium, but uh, I, I really like it. This is what basketball is to me. Yeah, a lot of. Uh, a lot of tradition in here, too. Yeah, nice job off the mark. Myers goes up and draws the foul. Ty, Ty Myers going to the line. Andrew Clitt, kids first. And again, guys, make sure you guys if uh, if you guys are tuning in, we cannot read your comments, but please keep them coming. Hit that like and share button. Let us know where you're watching from and who you're rooting for. When we go home, we want to see you on there cheering these boys on. A lot of games there on McCoy canceled. We were supposed to be Prestonsburg and Belfry. Yeah. Uh, supposed to have had that. Supposed to have Mingo Central and Phelps, and uh, both of them got canceled tonight. And we said, hey, Betsy Lane's playing. We got to get the Bobcats on. And, uh, of course, you know, we've been wanting to get up here and cover Leslie County as they're new to our coverage area, and this just gave us the perfect opportunity. Coach. Perfect opportunity. And as you said, as you said, Daryl, this is this is a basketball night. It's yeah. cold. It's snowy. Yes. This is Eastern Kentucky basketball to its fullest. Yes. Down to the gymnasium. Yes. Down to where we're at. Down, I mean, the weather, yes. everything. Everything. Yeah, this is the, the memories that I loved as a child was not like this. Yep, I agree with you on that. Mm. Uh, they swing it over to Kid. Cross court. Nice job. Kid got blocked. Coming back the other way. Left it for Hacker. Hacker, nice move. Number three, Daryl. Got an offensive foul. Good job by Tanner uh, Hall stepping in, taking that charge. Coach, I uh, want to make sure every, number three is Dylan Smith. 
Oh, that is Grayson Hall. The, uh, now, I want to remind people in Leslie County, if you are a business owner, d, &D Sports Network is full-time in Leslie County, and we definitely want you guys, uh, these kids covered more. It's you business owners that's going to make that happen. There's Dylan Smith with the bucket. Nice finish by Smith. Betsy Lane on the go. Offensive foul going the other way. What about it? Mr. Jesse Osborne stepping in. Tanner Martin getting called for it there. But, guys, if you own a business in Leslie County and uh, you're wanting to sponsor the ND Sports Network, definitely could use your help uh, supporting these Leslie County Eagles. Reach out to us, and we got a package for you. Help your business grow while helping mountain athletes. Coach, they're coming out now. Screen set out top by Myers. That's Hoskins. Has it out top, gets it to Myers. Shot off. Kid coming away with it. Parsons to Hall. Stepped on the line, going yeah. the other way. And coach, if you, if you don't think when you when out of region teams come to the 14th region, you don't think they got a leg up, you are crazy. Listen, it, it's a part of the uh, 14th and 15th, right? Yep. Hacker. He said, I'm getting to the right. Yeah, and that's Andrew. Oh, no, that was on Tanner Hall. Hoskins. I'm going to have Mr. Ty Myers to inbound for Leslie mm -hmm. County. Running a box set. Battling yeah. underneath. Yeah, Myers goes up strong, gets his own rebound. Has to wait a battle, big fella. How about that, Coach? That's, it. That's what second chance opportunities. They're going to have to have them. They're going to need every break they can because Betsy Lane's playing as good a basketball as any team in, the, in our coverage area. They right are now. indeed. Brady Hall checks in. Going to pull it. Brandon Hall just a freshman. Yeah. Here comes Parsons. Parsons one on two fast break. Nowhere to go, right? Yeah, maybe should have pulled that one back out, but either way, here they come back the other way. And right now you've got you know, Coach, when Braden Hall comes in, you know what he's in there to do. Yeah, Mr. Sniper. Yeah, he's in there to shoot the rock. There's Hall with the rebound. Gets over to Parsons. Parsons kicks it ahead. Andrew Kidd looking to make something happen. Parsons. Back to Kidd. They run a little five out action. Nowhere to go with it. Nice uh, ball fake. Over to Parsons. Nice job by Leslie County. Betsy Lane going to pull it back out. They're in no hurry, right, Darrell? No, absolutely not. On the road up 12 to 6. Yeah, you got a minute to go, you know, Coach. They're doing what you should do in this situation, and that hold it for the last shot, and then go in the second quarter with the momentum. You can sense Leslie County starting to kind of settle down, so you don't want to give Leslie another scoring opportunity. Dylan Smith matched up with Tanner Hall. Back to Carter Parsons, the 2026 guard. Super sophomore. Yeah, combo guard. Off the mark. Big break there. Now can the Eagles. They're going to have a heave. And that's going to be it. The Bobcats will go into the second quarter with a six-point advantage. We're going to take a quick break. Be right back here on the DND Sports Network. Looking for a great selection, great prices, and a great experience on your next ATV, motorcycle, or side-by-side? -side? Come check out Kiefer's Kawasaki. Our number one goal is to offer you the best power sport experience at a great price. Like this, new 23 Kawasaki Terex 4 for only $17,999. Before you write that check, check with us. And remember, your adventure starts here at Kiefer Kawasaki. Route 44 South, Jerry West Highway in Logan, or visit Kiefer'sPowerSports.net. Craving a taste of Central America? Head to Sal's Steakhouse. 
Sizzle your senses with mouthwatering steaks, juicy burgers, savory chicken, and fall off the bone ribs. Sal's Steakhouse, where your taste buds will thank you. Unleash the flavor at Sal's. Taste tradition, taste the difference. We're back here in Leslie County. Kevin Keithley, Daryl McCoy, you're watching the D&D Sports Network. Coach, on this snowy December night, we made the track over here to Leslie County to cover your Eagles and the Bobcats. So the uh, Betsy Lane versus Leslie County here on Monday Night Basketball and only D&D Sports Network getting out on this night, Oh, coach. absolutely. Only network out. You better believe it. Guy here just in the nick of time. Dumps it down, Hacker. Got it. Great job right, by Hacker right. setting his feet. Four ha point ball game all of a sudden. Hacker has four points. There's a turnover. Hacker on the move. He's got numbers. Count it. <laughs> and one. Says he'll get his three the old fashioned way. Three guys, three pointer opportunity here. Yeah, Coach, this is a – I would like to see Prestonsburg put bleachers back on the stage like they used to have back in the day. Yeah, that's right. They they did indeed have those uh, seats yeah. on the stage. And listen, if they keep winning, who knows, you might see them someday right. as it continues to fill up more and more. Andrew Kidd. Carter Parsons taking a seat to get a breather. Isaiah Allen back in. I'll tell you, Coach. I love what Mike Howard has done with this team. Big time fan of Coach Howard. Got it, Braden Hall. Yeah. He's made a short impact. And there's a quick timeout by Mike Howard. So uh, they're going to take one. We'll jump out too. We'll be right back. Come visit us at Castles Jewelry and Co Run today. We got a history of making sure our clients' needs and wants are met. Castles Jewelry has a large selection of rings, necklaces, bracelets, and more. Remember, friends come and go. Jewelry lasts forever. Back here in Leslie County, Kevin Keithley, Daryl McCoy, you're watching the Mountains' number one source for sporting news, the D&D Sports Network. Coach, when we left, we was talking about Mike Howard's impact on this team. It's on and off the court. Like, these boys are a completely different bunch, you know, and, and they've always had great kids. But what he's, you know, you're not seeing any tomfoolery. I mean, he, ha he has really turned this program around from the second he stepped on campus. Uh, man of God, man of faith. Yep. I hear a couple players have been baptized since he's taken over. That's awesome. Awesome. And listen, I take nothing away from the last – uh, regime, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Derek Newsom did an uh, unbelievable job yep. at Betsy Lane. Was it, did they make it the region final, semifinals? Right. Uh, two back to back district titles. Yeah. There you go, Myers. Turn around. Nice job by Myers. Baby hook. Cuts it to two, coach. The closest it's been since 2 0. My, oh, my. Leslie County, all of a sudden, energy, effort, enthusiasm. Toughness. Travel. Yep. Discombobulation, Daryl McCoy. They're going to have a chance to either tie or take the lead here. Coach, one person I don't see here is Adrenaline King. Yeah. He's normally here. Yeah, he's usually in the building. Yeah. There's that pressure by Betsy Lane. That's the one thing you're not going to no, – nothing's going to change with that. Pressure, pressure, pressure. All about it. Yep. Oh, got to travel. Yep. You saw Second it, Daryl McCoy. It and you know, in that situation there, you just give up the rock, you know. Isaiah Allen, Brayson, Grayson Hall, yep. Braden Hall. Yep. Uh, Andrew Kidd. Yeah, and Andrew Kidd and um, ha um, uh, Mr. Ch Howe. Yeah, Landon Howe. Trying to see what they got in this zone here. Trying to find the holes and the gaps. Wide open. Yep. There. Nice rebounding effort. Keeps Off and running. Nice outlet. Dylan Smith. I left oh, it short. Left coach. it short, Daryl McCoy. That's why you got to use the backboard, yeah. Coach. Use that glass. Go up yeah. left-handed. Isaiah Allen. 
<laughs> Off and running. Yeah. Can he get this one? Ooh. Oh, barely laid in. And, and John Noble's got to talk to him. Young yeah. man, that backboard's there for a reason. Right. <laughs> you can't keep me on, can't keep my heart uh, going like that. Dylan my blood Smith. Up. You're right, Daryl. <laughs> we got subs coming for Betsy Lane. Tanner Martin, Tanner Hall, and Carter Parsons. You know, Coach, that's one thing that Mike Howard's done this year is he has used every man on his bench. <laughs> There's Andrew, Andrew Kidd. Kidd. Yeah. Isaiah Allen chases down the rebound, kicks. Braden Hall off the mark. Again, another offensive rebound. Andrew Kidd says, I'll take care Got of it. it. Yes, sir, Andrew Kidd. Chance for an old-fashioned three-point play here. Ties it up. No, excuse me, Betsy Lane up by two. 16 to 14. Andrew Kidd going to the line. Substitutions. Yeah, we've got to see Andrew Kidd grow up in front of our eyes. Yeah. Yeah, we started covering him when uh, the Maestro's son, Jake Rainey, played up there. That's right. And a Andrew Kidd time. was a young, what, freshman, yeah. eighth grader uh, when we covered him all the time. And, uh, man, how he has grew as a player. Here comes that press by Betsy Lane. Andrew Kidd on the point of it. Parsons almost came away with it. Hacker. Nice. He said, I'll show you how to use the glass. Nice touch by Hacker, the freshman. There's Tanner Martin kicks over the kid. Can't uh -huh. get the jumper to fall. Yeah. Leslie County. Hacker with the ball. Looking for a ball screen. Nice dump down. Gonna shoot two. Ty Myers going to the free throw line. Yeah, coach Noble said, don't worry, Coach, I got it. it. It Listen, Coach Noble, it doesn't matter if they can go 15 deep, they can go five deep. He's always going to have a team that competes. Hey, yeah, absolutely. Right, this is one of the toughest teams to come in here and get a win from. Oh, you better believe it. Daryl, uh, we covered a game last year, Prestonburg coming in here. Yeah, and, yeah, uh, and ended up taking an yeah, L. Took an L. Yeah. When many thought Prestonburg would get out of here with one. Yeah, that's that's just John Noble. I mean, in a nutshell, like there's no give me's here at Lazley County. The crippler, John Noble. Yeah, he is. Uh, does he hold a belt now? Uh, no, uh, not uh, at least in AMW. He don't. Yeah, Coach, he got beat down in the back of an Escalade, and uh, I was hoping he was all right, but he looks good here tonight. Yes, there you sir. go. Big bucket coach by number one. Jesse Osborne, yep. where have you been? He says, I'm here now. Tanner Hall up top. Braden Hall getting extended minutes, the freshman. Coach Howard showing a lot of uh, trust and faith. Andrew Kidd. On Going the other way, Andrew Kidd's second personal. Andrew Kidd said he didn't know what he'd done there. What does Coach Howard do here? Does he roll the dice? I, if I'm a coach, I don't like that. You don't come out immediately with two fouls, right, there. No. <laughs> just gauge it. Well, gauge the situation. It, it depends on who the player is. You know, Andrew Kidd is a grizzled veteran, smart ball player. Yeah, I, I probably leave him in. I trust him, but some players I may take out. Right. There's Kid. They have to haul. Kicks it to the corner. Tanner Martin. He'll leave it out. Andrew Kid for three. Go, oh, yeah. Andrew Kid. With eight points. Leslie County leading 22 to 20 here over the Betsy Lane Bobcats. Oh, nice move. Come They're up. battling. Yep. Dylan Smith come up empty. Tanner Martin chases down the rebound. Bobcats on the move. We got ourselves a good one. Yes, we do. We kick it out. And Betsy Lane jumped out to a 12-2 lead, Coach. Yeah, absolutely. It's been all Leslie County here in the uh, second quarter. Kid on the floor. Yeah, going back, girl, to when do you pull and when you don't pull, I'll tell you what I really love about 
Uh, the other night, Prestonsburg, a couple of nights actually, Coach Parsons rolled the dice and let guys play. He, he guys got a couple of fouls, he left them in, let them play. Um, I, I, I'm a fan of that style. Like you, some people's like hardcore. See, I'm, I'm not. I, I'm, I'm a Calipari guy. I you think want him to come out no matter what. I, I, I think if you if you get two fouls in the first quarter, you come out. You know, and and if it's a if it's a close game, I mean, I maybe see putting them back in before half, but. I, I, normally, I like to sell them, you know, with two fouls, uh, especially if they get them in the first quarter. Well, if, if it's early, early, uh, uh, but I, that's why I say you got to gauge the situation. But again, like Andrew Kidd rolling the dice here, Daryl. I, I like that. Yeah, two personal uh, stand on the floor. Well, and I know, I know he's a kid that's going to play smart, and not do anything stupid. We got a foul on the floor. That's going to be Tanner Hall's second. Well, that's going to be Tanner Martin. Second team, or did you say second? Yeah. Team fourth. Mm. One more, they'll be shooting free throws. They are bringing Tanner Martin out. So, see, that's a great situation. You know, Andrew Kidd is a grizzled veteran. And uh, Tanner Martin, they're bringing him out, you know. And, you know, it's just Tanner Martin plays so hard that, you know, he may not trust that Tanner Martin can turn it down enough to stay in there. As Andrew Kidd, or Grayson, Grayson Hall. Yeah, Grayson go. Hall, Tanner Hall on the go. Little Tim Hardaway. Yeah, he's a Tanner Hall straight out of the On Point Ballers organization. Grayson Hall. Yeah. Uh, Braden Hall. Yeah, Braden Hall. Getting your halls mixed up, yes, Coach. Sir. He has five points. 25-22. It logging big time minutes. All of a sudden, Betsy Lane took a three-point advantage here. Long three. And coach, uh, I don't know. That's the coach at Noble or shot Noble once in that situation. Tanner Hall over to Kid. Kid's going to shoot another one. Off the mark. Big rebound. You got to be careful right here, Coach. Big bucket. <laughs> Telling you, that young man, Coach, can play. One of the top two or three. 2027s, right? Absolutely. In the 14th region? Absolutely. Yeah, I think he's up there with the two from Wolf County. Yeah. Creech and uh, uh, Flincher. Yeah, Flincher. Shot fake. Pull up. Got that one hard. Now, right here, Coach, this is where I hold it for one. Hacker. Back out to Hacker. Center of the floor. Yeah. Get your best player of the ball right in the middle of the floor, ladies and gentlemen. Let them go to work. This is what they're doing. Hacker splits the defense. Gonna shoot two. Yep. See, coach, that's that's the that's exactly what you want to do. You know, you fought back after being down double digits, fought back, and you know, within one, the momentum swinging your way. You don't want to force a shot early there and give them a chance to go steal the momentum. Great job here by John Noble at the end of this uh, half. This is, got a chance to tie it. This is a big free throw here for Hacker. And Coach, I don't know why here I put rebounders up trying to get the tip in. What would you do here? I think they're trying to cover for a long, long Hail Mary. Yeah. Off the mark, and it's going to be 25-25. We are knotted up here going into the half. Guys, we're going to step out. We'll be right back momentarily with the Double Quick Halftime Report. Kentucky Mountain Health Alliance is excited to announce a new partnership with Quantum Healthcare. Quantum continues to offer the same care at their location at 210 Black Gold Boulevard in Hazard. Quantum is open 24 hours per day with numerous providers and services available. They accept Medicaid and most major insurances. Call area code 606-436-0711 to schedule an appointment today. Kentucky Mountain Health Alliance and Quantum Healthcare. Together, we make a great team. This is Bruce Walters from Bruce Walters Kia. By now, you know Kia is a great vehicle, and you know they come with a 10-year, 100,000-mile warranty. So why should you buy from Bruce Walters Kia? At Bruce Walters Kia, we're going to change your oil for free for life. 
and what you do with that money you save is up to you. Come check out the 2022 Kia Carnival and the 2021 Kia Sorento. Only at Bruce Walters Kia in Pikeville. Or shop us online at brucewalterskia.com. If you were pushed out of the area because of loss of work in the coal industry, look no longer. Jim Mar is here for you. Jim Mar is now hiring for all positions in the coal field. Stop by their offices in Logan, West Virginia or in Willing, West Virginia and apply today. This is where it all started, right here on this farm. We may have grown over the years, but we've never lost sight of what was important to us. Looking for a new pharmacy? Howard Family Pharmacy offers fast and friendly service and convenient drive throughs at both locations. Welcome back, everybody. We are live here in Leslie County, Kentucky. You're watching the Double Quick Halftime Report with Kevin Keithley, Daryl McCoy, Coach Snowy, December 9th. We put the sleds on the D&D Mobile, and somehow we skidded our way into Leslie County here. This is, uh, this is basketball, Eastern Kentucky Mountain Basketball to a T. The night, the atmosphere, the weather, everything screams Eastern Kentucky High School basketball and I would not rather be any other place than right here in this gymnasium right now. You nailed it. We we're talking about it on the way up here. He said this is when you're little, this is nostalgia it brings you back. Uh, yep. the smell, uh, yep. the feel, the atmosphere. This is what high school basketball is all about. And we're getting a good one. 25 25. Would you expect anything less at Leslie County, Darrell McCoy? No, absolutely not. I mean, this is one of the hardest places to come in and get a win. Yeah. You know, John Noble always fights you tooth and nail here. Betsy Lane jumped up to a double digit lead there and 12 uh, 2 to start the game. And then Leslie County, be honest, from that point on, it's been all Leslie County. You know, uh, Betsy Lane uh, ended up taking a three-point lead there, but uh, Leslie County came back, tied it up right before half. And, Coach, right now, what are we looking at stats-wise? Yeah, for uh, Leslie County, the freshman 2027 uh, guard, Jaden Hacker, has uh, 11 points. Jesse Osborne has two. Dylan Smith has four. And Ty Myers has eight for Betsy Lane. Carter Parsons has three. Well, remember, ladies and gentlemen, Cameron Pente is out with a foot injury. He's going to Lexington more to get that checked out. Unavailable. Andrew Kidd uh, leads all scorers for Betsy Lane, has eight points. Tanner Hall has seven. Uh, Braden Hall coming off the bench. The freshman has five. And uh, Isaiah Allen has two. Yeah, that's uh, – you know, right now, I mean, whenever they come back out, you know, one thing that uh, that I've – really been surprised is the trust that we've seen Mike Howard put in Braden Hall. You know, Braden Hall played almost the entire second quarter, and uh, you know, uh, we see Tanner Martin in a little bit of foul trouble. 
you know, I, I still go down, and I'll, I'll keep saying it. I don't know that there's a kid in the 15th region that's got a quicker first step than Tanner Martin. Yeah. But a, a good argument can yeah. be made. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's lightning quick. But, mm-hmm. you know, when, when you take a look, though, uh, they're playing as good – basketball here uh, right now Betsy Lane is as you'll find knocking off uh, who the preseason favorite Martin County just a week or so ago and then uh, then they ended up going up played Floyd Central really tough without uh, Cameron Pente well Pente played the first quarter and then uh, he was out so Mike Howard has this thing turned around and all of a sudden Betsy Lane looks like a viable option as one that could possibly win the 58th district all right, we said it uh, preseason we said it during the summer we said it on the grind session Betsy Lane has so many pieces and when you have three point guards on the floor combo guards yep. and they can interchange uh, catch receive screen shoot handle pass yeah yeah, you're really difficult to guard. And also defensively, Daryl, they can interchange positions full court, half court. Really tough to guard, really tough to defend, and they're very difficult to play against. I agree 100% with you. And uh, here at Leslie County, you know, listen, uh, one thing John Noble has, that's a start in uh, Jaden Hacker. And when you got a kid like that, you got a chance. And, you know, I love right now what, the way that this team is fighting. And the way you can tell they want to win this ball game tonight. So I, I really look forward. If you step away, you will regret it because this game could come down to the wire. Good old fashioned slobber knocker here on D&D Sports Network Monday Night Basketball. Monday Night Basketball, Darrell McCoy. Real quick, uh, Coach Noble said, uh, Coach Keith Lee, so we've got, I've got uh, 10, 15 guys that are all very similar in how hard they compete and how hard they play. He said, How do you, how do you figure it out? Where do you go? And I said, well, I said, a lot of times it just determines who separates themselves. He said, you know what? He said, they all compete hard. And I said, that's a great problem to have. It is absolutely 100%. Every coach would love to right. have that issue. All right, guys, we're going to step away. One quick commercial break. We'll be right back. Second half action, Leslie County versus Betsy Lane on the D&D Sports Network. Kentucky Farm Bureau agents wear a lot of hats. They're coaches, volunteers, church members, neighbors, someone who's there when you need them, especially when you need them most. That may be a lot of hats, but they're all the perfect fit. Kentucky Farm Bureau, big on commitment. Leslie County, Kentucky, Daryl McCoy, Coach Kevin Keithley, we're here. Yeah, originally scheduled for a Monday night matchup, Prestonsburg versus Belfry at the Prestonsburg Fieldhouse. No, sir, game's canceled. Listen, you don't have to worry because Daryl McCoy went down his old Rolodex. He went down to KHSA. He said, "Where's there game? Where's there? Where is there a game in the 14th and 15th region?" Yeah, he found one. There's head coach John Noble. Coach uh, AEW was a champion and uh, got beat down, thrown in the back of an Escalade, but somehow he made it here to coach tonight. But you know, uh, if you guys want to watch him. Go to AEW Wrestling. Yeah. Yeah. AEW Wrestling. And uh, then on the other side, Coach, you got Mike Howard here, a man that has come in and really changed up the way things have done here at Betsy Lane and has them play an outstanding basketball right now. He does. And as we mentioned, uh, since he's taken over, two young men, we believe, have uh, – Got baptized. Got baptized. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's the impact. As a coach, that's the impact you want to have as a high school basketball coach. 
But as we're starting, Kevin Keithley, Daryl McCoy, you're watching Monday Night Basketball on the D&D Sports Network, Leslie County versus Betsy Lane, brought to you courtesy of Thomas Camper at Camper Furniture, yeah. Derek Bowling at Kentucky Farm Bureau, Kentucky Mountain Health Alliance, Quantum Health, Little Flower Clinic, East Kentucky Chiropractor, and I uh, also want to thank East Main Street Pharmacy. Nice job by Leslie County to crowd Andrew Kidd. Parsons back to Kidd. Turn around. Got it. Nice job by Andrew Kidd. Coach Andrew Kidd, he's been posting uh, double doubles like it's nobody's business. He now has 10. Now, uh, you know, you got him posting double doubles, Coach, but I, I seen a stat uh, last night. Parker Watts, uh, junior out of Tulsa, averaging 38 points a game right now for Tulsa. Wow. Has to be leading the state, right? Oh, West yeah. Virginia? Yeah, you, yeah. I mean, if not, I mean. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'd like to meet, I'd right. shake the man's hand who's, who's beating him. Right, who's averaging 40. <laughs> Tomorrow night, we got a good one. Logan versus Chapmanville. Oh, my goodness. Mm. Fan bases. Absolutely. Here we go. You got Tanner Hall out front. He's guarded by Dylan Smith. They're sitting back in that zone right now, Coach. Yeah, they're doing a nice job crowding Kid when he touches. And good job by Andrew Kidd finding the open man, finding the cutter there. Martin's first two of the evening. 29-25, Betsy Lane with the advantage. Isaiah Allen back in. Ha uh, excuse me, uh, Myers. Myers. Yeah. Tanner Hall bringing it up. Over to Allen. Parsons over to Hall. Off the mark. Hacker with the rebound. Nice look. Great job. You know, most, most kids, most freshmen would have shot that coach. He but saw, yeah. He was very patient, saw the open guy. Yeah, he saw the left, left lane coming, didn't he? Yeah. Great floor vision by him. Tanner Hall. Got it. Hall now has 10. Hacker. He's got an open guy. There it is. Betsy Lane done a good, good job recovering. Ooh. Coach Myers maybe should have shot that. Battle underneath. Yes, sir. Osborne. Oh, oh, jump ball. They call it jump ball? Yep. Little State Leslie's basket way. Jesse Osborne inbound. Hacker dials it up. Got Sweet it. Sir. Tied ball game, coach. Hacker now with 14. Parsons, finding Kid. Man, they're doing a tremendous job on Kid. Uh, Daryl Leslie is. And they're making sure. That's Tanner Hall again, coach, and they'll, they'll come out of that zone sooner or later if he keeps shooting like that. Tanner Hall now has 13. There's Hacker. Nice move. Osborne going to shoot two. Coach, all of a sudden, Leslie County uh, has really cleaned up that advantage that Betsy Lane had in the first half on the glass. Battling underneath. Back iron, no good. Grayson Hall coming in. We'll give Tanner Martin a break. Number three, Grayson Hall. Braden Hall checking in, Daryl. Is that right? Mm -hmm. I... uh, no, it's Grayson Hall. Okay. Here comes Tanner Hall, kicks it up court. Isaiah Allen back over to Tanner Hall. Straight away three. Off the mark. Andrew Kidd gets the rebound. Goes up. Tried drawing the foul, but never came. But you're not going to get them calls here in Leslie County. No. 
you know, this is a great home court advantage here. We're here in, uh, what is it, Hyden? Hyden, <laughs> yeah, Kentucky. Yeah. yeah, as you've mentioned, uh, home of Tim Couch. Yeah, fighting Tim Couch is you know, here. You know Tim Couch scored over 3,000 points in his basketball career as yeah, well. Yeah, he was Mr. Basketball. Yeah. yeah. There's Isaiah Allen. Left that in short. Coach, Back, yeah. they also got a great quarterback here right now, Landry Collette. Yeah. There. Oh. Myers. Coach, I tell you, he got lucky. They didn't call that offensive foul. Yeah, kind of swung that yeah. offhand. Numerous times there, but. Parsons. Coming back. Kid dumps it down. Parsons with a nice layup, Coach. High difficulty shot there. Parsons, Parsons, for yeah, Parsons now with five points. Nice uh, ball fake. Good defense right now by the Bobcats. Got Dylan Smith on this far side. Jaden Hacker centering the basketball. See the floor. You can see the entire floor, see what you got. And Isaiah Allen known for his defense. There you go, three-pointer step back. No good. Off and running here. Tanner Hall, pull up. In and out. Mm -hmm. On the go here. Hacker, looking for that screen. Nice shot by Betsy Lane to cover. Hoskins, nowhere to go with it. Yeah, Ty Myers has it out top. Trying to set, reset the offense here. It's a five-point lead, Betsy Lane, here in Leslie County. Long three. Hacker. Hacker says, don't worry about me. He said, I'm here to bail us out. Hacker now has 17. They kick it over. Hall swings it over to Allen. Nice ball movement. Andrew Kidd at the elbow. Parsons goes baseline. Nice dump off the kid. Poked out. Isaiah Allen. In and out. No good. On the go. Hacker. Yeah. Oh, I got away with one. Nice way to use his body. Yeah. Nice job by Andrew Kidd. He said, uh-uh, not on my watch. Here comes Kidd. Pull up. Got it. Andrew Kidd says, my pull-up game is strong. 39-35, Betsy Lane on top of Leslie County. We'll be right back on the d, &D Sports Network. Coach Keithley, we're back here in Hyden, Kentucky. Leslie County versus Betsy Lane here. Man, what a ball game we got going here right now, Coach. As 39-35, uh, it's Betsy Lane on top by four with 1.52 to go here in the third quarter. And right now for Betsy Lane, you know, the, the kid that's uh, been driving this locomotive has been this young man right here, Coach. And that's Mr. Andrew Kidd. How many has he got on the night, Coach? He's got 17, averaging 18 on the year. Uh, excuse me, Andrew Kidd has 10, Daryl. Yeah. Averaging 18 on the year. And then for Leslie County, you know, uh, the young man that you, the freshman, 2027 kid, Jaden Hacker. I don't know. Uh, that, you know, that that's a kid that Leslie County, as uh, the years go on, he's going to be one of the – more well-known athletes in the 14th region because he's a dual sport athlete and not just a dual sport athlete, dual sport standout. Do you think that he can eclipse Tim Couch's scoring mark? 
He played last year, averaged 15 again, uh, 13 a game. He averaged 13 last year? Yeah. As an eighth I, grader. I think he does it. Yeah, I think he can get it. Yeah, I think he does it. Nice look. You know, Coach, we actually know Mr. Tim Couch quite well, and uh, I'm sure he's going to be uh, uh, saying, hey, let's hold my records. Right. Kicks it out, back over. Dylan Smith in the corner. Over to Osborne. Hacker out top. Old Hacker. Coach, you better use that wide angle when Jaden Hacker's in the game. Absolutely. Because he'll pull from anywhere. Big rebound. Dylan Smith with the bucket. Coming back, 39-37. We got a two-point ball game. Parsons. Grayson Hall is out top over to Tanner Hall. Parsons to the other corner. Got Sinks it. it. Carter Parsons. He's got seven. Coach, that right there is his favorite shot, that corner, that corner pocket three, and uh, he does it mighty well. 42-37, plus five, Betsy Lane in the third quarter. Over. Good ball movement. Baseline. I say he stepped on the line. Said he, yes, sir. Going Betsy Lane's way with 7.9 to go here in the third. Braden Hall checking in. He's going to bring Landon Howe out. They're going to put Hall in that deep corner. Tanner Hall off the mark. Oh. And at the buzzer, they stretched it out to a seven point ball game. We'll take a quick break. Be right back. Fourth quarter action here on the D&D Sports Network. Kentucky Farm Bureau agents wear a lot of hats. There are coaches, volunteers, church members, neighbors, someone who's there when you need them, especially when you need them most. That may be a lot of hats, but they're all the perfect fit. Kentucky Farm Bureau, big on commitment. If you want to make your dream home come true, call Solid Rock Development today. Check out some of these interior and exterior jobs they've done over the past few years. Solid Rock Development is making custom dream homes come true at a great price. Family owned? Family operated and faith back. Give us a call today at Solid Rock Development. Here in Leslie County, the fighting Tim Couches, Kevin Keithley, Daryl McCoy on the call, Coach. We got a seven point ball game, 44 37 lead for Betsy Lane heading into the fourth quarter. Big bucket to end the third quarter by Andrew Kidd, kind of fell into his. Lap, so to speak. Tanner Hall up top. Coach Howard telling him what he wants. Spreading the floor. Dump down, nice. Great job. Parsons couldn't convert. Yeah. And it's stolen away. How? Left the baby hook, no good. Howe got the offensive rebound. Again, Landon Howe, the younger brother of Sean D. Howe, Coach. Yes, sir. As you see, Coach Mike Coward said, uh, uh, slow it down. Yeah. There's Grayson Hall, fires the three. Got it. I'm going to say that looked good. Time out, Leslie County. John Noble is going to talk to the truth here. As they take one, we'll jump out too. Full time out. We'll be right back. This is Bruce Walters from Bruce Walters Kia. By now you know Kia is a great vehicle and you know they come with a 10 year, 100,000 mile warranty. So why should you buy from Bruce Walters Kia? At Bruce Walters Kia, we're gonna change your oil for free for life. And what you do with that money you save is up to you. Come check out the 2022 Kia Carnival and the 2021 Kia Sorento. Only at Bruce Walters Kia in Pikeville or shop us online at brucewalterskia.com.
If you want to make your dream home come true, call Solid Rock Development today. Check out some of these interior and exterior jobs they've done over the past few years. Solid Rock Development is making custom dream homes come true at a great price. Family owned, family operated, and faith backed. Give us a call today at Solid Rock Development. We're back here. You see Mike Howard talking to the troops there. John Noble wanted a timeout, Coach, after giving the uh, rebound up in the bucket. Right now, 10-point lead. This is the largest the lead's been since midway through the first quarter. Kevin Keesley, Daryl McCoy on the call. You're watching Monday Night Basketball on the D&D Sports Network. Nice dump down. Yep. Going to shoot two. Let's see who that is, Coach. That is. Number 23. Trent Rosian. Isaiah Vanzi. No, right? Uh, Trent Rosian. No, you're right. That is right. Isaiah Vanzi. Back to nine. Love everything about Leslie County, Coach. Down, you know, this facility, you know, it's separate from the school. So right. it's actually not hooked to the school. And uh, you know, there you go. They get the turnover. Over to Hacker. Hacker has 17. Dylan Smith. Off the mark. All coming away with it. And, Coach, what I was saying is this uh, this gymnasium, you know, it's a, it's kind of a throwback. And uh and I love it. You know, when you take a look at the baseline, you got the, the bleachers down in the end zones. And I like they've revamped it and added some bells and whistles with the three scoreboards, scoreboards here. Three scoreboards. Um, listen, you know exactly time, score, yep. fouls, turnovers. Picks it over and up it down to Andrew Kidd. Andrew Kidd turns it over. Coming back the other way. Hacker on the move. Hacker. Goes in, off the glass, good. Hacker now with 19. Here comes uh, some pressure by Leslie. I tell you, everywhere they go, there's two guys waiting on them. Leslie all of a sudden turning the heat up. 47-41, Betsy Lane. Two possession ball game with six minutes to go. Mike Howard, he says, hey, going to pull Dean Smith here, Coach. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. There you go. Nice job, Andrew Kidd. Finding a hole in the baseline. Back to eight. Pull up, Hacker. Hacker now has 21. Hal, all up top. He's uh, going back through four corners, Coach. Yeah, he is. <laughs> he remember old, his former coach, Junior Newsom. Yeah. <laughs> Andrew Kidd goes and gets it. Vancey on Kidd. Nice job, Andrew Kidd. Got him on his heels, coach, and took advantage of it. Nice pull up. Yeah, here comes Myers. He leaves it for Hacker. Hacker pull up three. Off the mark. Rushed that one a little bit. Kid up top. In no hurry. On the road. Approaching four to play in the fourth. Up by eight. Vancey, coach, they're going to have to switch right now and get somebody else on uh, Kid. There's Myers. Nice drive by Myers off the glass and good. Big bucket by Myers. All of a sudden, it's a six-point game. Kid up top, back to Tanner uh, Tanner Hall. Coach, they did what I told you. They switched it up. Uh, they got Myers on kid now. Hal Parsons. 
timeout. Betsy Lane, 30-second timeout, Daryl. 30-second. We'll stay here, Coach. But down the stretch, 349 to go. Right here is the kid you want to get the ball in his hands, and that's uh, that's Jaden Hacker. You know, Right now, Coach, what's he got on the night? He's got 21, Daryl McCoy, and getting it done in a big-time way. Uh, the freshman, one of the top, I would dare say, top three freshmen in the 14th region. I, I agree with you. I, I, I think that, you know, he's Lynchum Creech, and, and I'd have to sit and look at the other rosters to see who some of the other freshmen are, but, you know, I would agree. And, uh, you know, I don't know if Perry or Hazard, you know, has any or not. I'd have to check their rosters as well. But, you know, it's going to be interesting, Coach, right now. I mean, we're looking at a two-possession ball game, six-point lead for Betsy Lane with 3.49 to go. And, you know, with John Noble around, there ain't no lead safe, no. let alone a six-point one. Not at all. They do as good a job as anybody at pressuring the basketball. Guys, you need insurance. Call Derek Bowling at Kentucky Farm Bureau. He will make sure that you get insurance at a quality rate. Tanner Hall up top. Andrew Kidd. Kidd getting downhill. Tanner yep. Martin. And Martin. Block. On the floor. Guys, Kemper Furniture in Hazard. Go to Kemper Furniture if you're wanting to get your loved one a Christmas present. They'll never forget. Call Kemper Furniture. There's Tanner Hall. They're just looking to milk clock. Yeah. Andrew Kidd turns and burns off the glass. Big bucket. Yeah. Tell you, Coach, down the stretch. You know, they put the, – every time they put the ball in his hands, good things have happened. Kid now has 16. The kick. Hacker. Eight-point game here, Betsy Lane. Coach Noble clearing it out for Hacker, letting him go to work. Off the mark. Tanner Hall. They get over to Andrew Kidd. Andrew Kidd getting up court. Kidd. Yep. I love the hustle. The effort. Betsy Lane has milked a ton of clock this fourth quarter. They have. Mike Howard's done a fabulous job with uh, clock management. There's Tanner Hall. Count it! See what the back official has. I think they were wait. Count it. Hit. Waited a second, didn't he, Daryl McCoy, yeah. to see if there was a uh, player control foul. Tanner Hall has 17 going to the free throw line. 10-point ball game, 55-45. 2.18 to go here in the fourth quarter. Kevin Keithley, Daryl McCoy on the call. I want to thank East Main Street Pharmacy, DeShay and the crew, Aaron Hazard, Kentucky Mountain Health Alliance, Quantum Health, Little Flower Clinic, and East Kentucky Chiropractic, Camper Furniture, Derek Bowling at Kentucky Farm Bureau, and our friends at Double Quick. Thanks. It. Hall with 18. Leslie Kim, got to make something happen. Watch yeah, out. Yeah, and Betsy Lane making something happen. Tanner Hall. Give Hall 20. Yeah. yeah they're going to take a full timeout, so we'll jump out too. We'll be right back here on the D, &D Sports Network. The Kentucky Mountain Health Alliance wants to inform the general public that Little Flower Clinic is a full-service medical clinic available for everyone. We accept most major insurances like the one your employer provides and Medicaid. Little Flower has an experienced staff of medical professionals providing all types of services from general physicians, mental health services, dental, chronic disease case management, and even chiropractic. We have on-site x-ray and laboratory services. Little Flower Clinic, everyone's medical home in the the mountains. 
We're back here, Coach. Leslie County in Hyden, Kentucky. Kevin Keithley, Daryl McCoy on the call right now. Betsy Lane sitting on a 58-45 lead. And I tell you, Coach, John Noble was not happy at that break. No, not at all. You don't see Coach Noble really – that animated, he, he does a great job staying cool, calm, and collected. But that, that's the John Noble that you see uh, at AMW. AMW. And I'm sure during those practice sessions behind closed doors, I mean, he, he's intense and uh, he gets the best out of his players. I'm a monster fan of John Noble. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Great guy on and off the court. Yep. All right, guys, Monday Night Basketball on the D&D Sports Network. Want to thank Howard Family Pharmacy. Conley Brothers Giovanni's. Also want to thank Made to Crave, Castles Jewelry, and Willie Crace at Solid Rock Development. Coming back, Coach Leslie County. Brings the ball to the floor. Need to show a little urgency here on the offensive end. Yeah, 13 point lead for Betsy Lane. Yeah. Isaiah Allen showing good pressure out top. Hacker was wide open on that deep corner. Got to know who you scoring threat is. Nice trap by Betsy Lane. Should be jump ball, and it is. Good sportsmanship by Isaiah Allen. Say, hey, Burrow, hit you in the face. and Another timeout. Let's see what they call here. They want to talk about it, right? They, well, actually, is it another four. I believe it is Daryl McCoy. Yeah, we'll, we'll stay here during this. Daryl, it. Uh, one thing, listen, Betsy Lane going to have a chance to get to Rupp Arena. There's no doubt about it. Oh, yeah, they uh, they absolutely, you know, I mean, this is a team they already knocked off the uh, what most people thought was the favorites in, uh, in the 15th region, which was Martin County. And, uh, you know, I mean, it, you know, they've showed that they can compete with the best of the best. You know, so you know, right now, there's Crystal Allen up there, Betsy Lane, former uh, girls coach. But, you know, they've showed that they can play with the best teams in the region, you know, and right now, you know, they took Floyd Central down to the wire the other night without their token point guard, Cameron Pente. Yeah. Who was struggling as he's uh, got a severe ankle injury, coach. Yeah, they're going to check it out tomorrow on Lexington and yep. see if there's any ligament damage. Yeah. So hopefully he's back sooner than later. Wesley County running out of time. Hacker. Three-point bucket good. How many has he got, Coach? 24? Hacker's got 24. This official have travel. There's a travel. Ten-point game, 122 to play. find Mr. Hacker. Absolutely. There he goes. Baseline. Wraparound layup. No good. Tanner Martin coming away with it. Yeah. Off to Parsons. Parsons going to dribble it back out to Tanner Hall. Going to put Tanner Hall. Uh, nope. Not yet. You know, Coach Casey, and this started. This all started whenever Betsy Lane had a four-point lead and they went four corners and milked the clock there for three, four minutes in the middle of the fourth. And, you know, that's what's got Lisley County in this situation now. Yeah, but they did a nice job. Uh, one the other way. Yeah. Andrew Kidd. And how about Hacker showing and making his presence felt on both ends of the floor, Coach? Yeah, doing a great job tonight. 56.8, 10-point game. Kid, Andrew Kid said, "I've had enough of this. Here he comes, and one opportunity." Andrew Kid, Kid's a baller. We've got we've got fans fainting here, Daryl McCoy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they, they they can't believe it, but Coach, I tell you, you know that young man right there controls <laughs> his team as well as any player in our coverage area, like. Andrew Kidd. Yeah, down the stretch, I mean, he's been automatic. He's made all the right plays. I've been very impressed with the maturity in his game. Yeah, he's done a great job. 47.2, Betsy Lane looking to get out of 
Leslie County with the W. Getting out of hiding Kentucky here. So, uh, yeah, I'm very interested in seeing, you know, as – Betsy Lane continues, you know, to go on this row. I want to see how good this team can get. You know, right. Because a lot of people said, well, they're the fourth best team in the district. And I think if recent, uh, in the recent days, one thing we found out, the 58th district is wide open. Listen, we saw Prestonburg lead from the tip and give it, uh, well, not give it away. Lawrence County earned every bit of it. Yeah. Lawrence County pulled it out at the end. Mm -hmm. uh, we saw Prestonburg knock off Shelby Valley. We've seen Betsy Lane beat Martin County. Yeah. Floyd Central went all the way to the WYMT Classic, Darrell, and had a great showing. Yeah, Betsy Lane beat Shelby Valley. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, definitely interesting. You guys definitely, you know, stay tuned to D&D &D Sports Network. Coach, this week things get a little slow. And then I think this weekend cool. it's, it's going full throttle. Man. And then next week, me and you – We'll be in Gatlinburg oh, man. covering the Black Cats, and hopefully uh, Betsy Lane's girls will be up there at hey, that time, Darryl, maybe McGoffin. There, listen, the defending Tennessee State champions, Prestonburg has them out of the gate. Oh, wow. Not good news for the Black Cats. Block. Andrew Kidd. And, and, and Daryl, listen, I'll say this until I'm red in the face. When you've got three, four guys that can attack the rim, that can take you off the bounce, especially in the 15th region, you become really, really good. Yep. And that's what they got. You know, uh, you know, you've said it many times. You know, they got virtually three point guards yeah. out there. And uh, that's what makes them so dangerous. You know, a lot of people thought it was a weakness that Andrew Kidd had to play the five. But, you know, this small ball has really worked for Mike Howard and these Bobcats it, this year. It has. The same, know, and the same thing, go ahead, Darrell. And Carter Parsons has been very impressed with that young man throughout the whole season. He has been very consistent every game. But he has. And Floyd Central the same way. They, they've got four guys that can pull you out. Yep. Hacker. Braden Hall on him. Back out to Hacker. Hacker. Looking for space. Steps behind the screen. Off the mark. Tanner Hall coming away with it. Coach, I'm afraid that's going to be it. That's going to be it. Subs yeah. coming in. Um, they call it a travel? Oh, they. They're going to uh, time out so oh. they can get some of these subs in, Daryl. Oh, okay. I see what they're saying. They're saying keep it rolling, rolling the subs in. I'm telling you what, number 50 for Betsy Lane. Before it's all said and done, it's going to be a player. Oh, yeah, I'm a big fan of that kid, Combs. Yes. Mm. Off and running. Leslie County going to have one more shot at it. Off the mark. That's going to be it. Betsy Lane squeaks out of hiding with a 63-48 lead. We'll be right back with the Mingy Beef Jerky Player of the Game. Who is it, Andrew Kidd? Uh, this is where it all started, right here on this farm. We may have grown over the years, but we've never lost sight of what was important to us. We're continuing that tradition today, and we always will be for generations to come. Leslie County, Kentucky. Betsy Lane. Leslie County. Oh, yeah. Betsy Lane from the 15th region gets out of here. 63-48 with the W. And ladies and gentlemen, as you're going to find out here in just a second, um, our Mingy Beef Jerky player of the game. And drum roll it coming. Uh, it really came down to a, uh, two players. And you could have went either way, really. Uh, one, you could have went with Tanner Hall. and But Daryl McCoy, I think overall performance, overall uh, rebounding, uh, keying in, Leslie County focusing in, still getting buckets. 
I think you're Mingy Beef Jerky player of the game. Is Mr. Is, is Mr. Andrew Kidd. Oh, yeah. We've got the Mingy Beef Jerky player of the game. No doubt about it. Mr. Andrew Kidd, number five, getting it done in a big-time way on the road in a hostile environment, yes, sir. Andrew. Listen, you don't come into Leslie County. And you're going to be in for a war, you right? you work for it. Uh, talk a little bit about it, Andrew, coming here. What did Coach uh, uh, Mike Howard uh, tell you guys uh, before you got down here? Well, you know, we're out we're without our starting point guard, Pinte, so we just got to come in and – People got to play the rows and we got to execute, especially on the road. You know, in the 14th region, any 14th region win as a 15th region team, it's going to be tough. Hey, if you get out of the 14th region with the W, brother, you're getting something done. And uh, talk a little bit about what's the update on your guy, Mr. Pente. What's it looking like? Uh, sprained ankle. He's looking to be out about probably three weeks. Mm, man, but the great thing, and I've said it all year and behind the scenes, what makes you guys so good is, and not only are you really – you're a guard playing down low, but you can run three point guards at oh, any yeah. time. Mm -hmm. Tough to guard, versatile. You can defend. You can do a lot of different things. Offensively, really, really good. You guys are as good as anybody in the region. Um, 21 points tonight, unofficially. Phillips, uh, fans don't get mad at me if you had 23. But 21 points tonight, getting it done. Talk about your role uh, on this team this year and how you, you know, assuming a leadership role for the Bobcats. You know, as the big guy, I just got to – I got to, like you said, take a new row, play down low a little bit, get other guys involved when they're doubling in the post and things like that, and mostly, most important, rebound. Right. A big thing. Right. And you've done a tremendous job of that. Um, early on, uh, expectations, at least for me, I was like, this team is a team that can get to Rupp Arena. Uh, early on, you know, a little, little rough. But you go to Martin County, yeah. and you knock off what everybody believes is a big dog. Talk about that mindset in the locker room. Uh, I didn't get a chance to talk to anybody from Betsy Lane after that win. Uh, you guys went in there with the expectations to get that W. Yeah, that just shows us that we can play with anybody. Getting a win over there at Martin County against, like you said, what people think is the best team in this region. Right. Uh, Talk about your partner, Tanner Hall. He could have been Mingy Beef Jerky player of the game. Probably had his best game of the year. Talk a little bit about Tanner Hall's oh, he's, performance. He's, he can shoot the lights out. He can get downhill, get other guys involved when, you know, they cut him off getting downhill. Yeah. He's just – he's everywhere, man, especially on defense too. Right. Let me ask you a couple of questions because I know you guys got a long road back. But what, what's it like – I've known Coach Howard for a long, long time. We mm -hmm. go back – so we were knee high to a grasshopper. We used to play basketball on those dirt courts and and uh, Toller Creek and Mud Creek. Uh, so we used to go at it. Um, talk about having Coach Howard and and the new regime. Because listen, it, the, the last three or four years, unbelievable success. Taking nothing away from what Coach Newsom did, but having a new coach coming in. Talk about what it's been like having Coach Howard on board. Oh, he's been a blessing to us. Definitely, he's always preaching defense. You know, tenacity stuff like that. We just we got to take what he is given to us and go with it. Right. Uh, moving forward, if you guys are going to get to Rupp Arena, I believe you guys really have a great shot at getting there. I believe you're one of the top, I still believe, at top three or four teams in the 15th region. They'll say, wait a minute, we beat Martin County, ladies and gentlemen. What, what, are we number one? Well, it could be. Talk about what you got to do. Uh, to get to Rupp Arena, what's some of the improvements that you'd like to see? We got to keep sharing the ball. We got to keep getting better at that. We definitely got to hit the defensive glass, rotate on defense, things like that, and just you know make the open shots when they come our way. Uh, exactly right. Listen, Mingy Beef Jerky, player of the game, Andrew Kidd, getting it done like always. Congratulations on the win, Thank you. and I know we'll see you down the road. Big time effort tonight. Thank you, Andrew Kidd, Daryl McCoy, yep. getting it done. Thank you. Unbelievable, Daryl McCoy. Coach, outstanding young man, I tell you, Andrew Kidd. Uh, I, he's one that I, I'll say it and I'll say it, man. Like his freshman year, you know, I was like, man, he, you know, he, he uh, the kid that I've seen, he was really shaky. You know, uh, it really had a tough time at that time. They was playing him at point guard. Had a lot of pressure, you know, nobody, everybody knew the name. And, uh, you know, so they was expecting this kid to live up to that. Well, the last couple of years, 
you know, r really the last three, but the last couple, he has turned up <laughs> tenfold and really been one of the most important, if not the most important piece last year, and, well, besides Brady Robinson. But then this year, he, you know, he is the most important piece, and just the leadership that he shows on and off the floor is something that they can't replace. Love that young man, Andrew Kidd. Uh, uh, here's what he brings to the table, right, outside of everything you just talked about. Maybe one of the toughest matchups in the 15th region, just having a matchup with him. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, you know, it is how many fives can guard him. You right. know? And you've seen him tonight. You know, the thing I liked is every possession down the stretch, you know, he was patient, and he ended up knocking down the shot. Like, I, I mean, I don't know. Uh, I, I would uh, – you got the stats there, but, I mean, I'm sure in the last four, four, four and a half, I don't remember him missing a shot. Right. Oh, and, and listen, Daryl, we've talked about a lot of people who have great mid-range pull-ups. Yeah. Uh, l listen, throw Andrew Kidd in there. Yeah. I, His mid-range pull-up is money. Automatic from that foul line yeah. elbow area. Unbelievable. Yeah. So, uh, Coach, 63-48. Listen, you folks, all of a sudden, you thought you wasn't going to have no basketball tonight. They said all the games are canceled. You know, we're going to take and go to, uh, you know, we've seen the only game going, you know, Betsy Lane versus Leslie County. And, you know, I called Coach last minute. I said, Coach, let's get in the sled. Let's haul our way over there. You said, let's go. Here we are, thanks to Derek Bowling at Kentucky Farm Bureau, thanks to Thomas Kemper at Kemper Furniture, to Shea uh, Woolham at um, East Main Street Pharmacy, uh, Scott Napier up at Kentucky Mountain Health Alliance, you know, uh, then Corey Conley, Conley Brothers Giovanni, you want to thank Howard Family Pharmacy, our friend Wes up there, want, want to thank Castle's Jury, want to thank uh, Made to Crave, and Willie Crace at Solid Rock Development, as well as our friends at Double Quick. Coach, this game right here, 63-48. Leslie County fans, don't get you know, don't don't get your panties in a wad, as Mountain folks would say. This team's going to be a solid team before it's over with. Coach Noble's got some pieces to work with. As he said before the game, he said he's got ten guys, maybe more, that are very competitive work hard, do all the right things. When you've got that makeup of a team, you're going to be okay. It was tied at halftime, ladies and gentlemen, right here uh, at, in Leslie County. This team's going to be right where they need to be come March, Daryl McCoy. Coach Kevin Casely, tomorrow, right now, tentative schedule, we will have Chapmanville versus Logan on the D&D Sports Network. I don't know what other games we got, but all week long, we will have a slew of games on – Wednesday, we will have the grind session. Then on Thursday, Friday, we got the Prestonsburg Christmas tournament. Daryl, Breathitt County, Shelby Valley, Paintsville, East Carter, Prestonsburg. You're not going to want to go anywhere for that one. Uh, who's that one? I know I'm missing Lawrence somebody. Lawrence County in it? Let us know. Lawrence County, possibly. Yeah, I thought yeah. The, uh, Some, yeah, there's I, another. I, I could be wrong, but, you know, the, uh, but great tournament. Guys, make sure you get out. Listen, right now, this is the time you get out and you support these local teams and these local programs. Everybody's in from college, and there's – okay. They uh, – everybody uh, is in from college, and, you know, this is if, – if you're in and you ain't got nothing to do, you're in seeing family for Christmas, get out to the ball games and support these kids. This is the memories that these kids will never forget is December, early January, New Year's, all the fans packed out to come watch some good old-fashioned mountain basketball. I'm with you, Daryl McCoy. We'll be right there with them. Yes, we will. Kevin Keithley, Daryl McCoy. Guys, you have watched another broadcast here on the D&D Sports Network. Betsy Lane, 63, Leslie County, 48. Till next time, so long and good night.